Welcome to the final part of VR Sports Powerboat Racing. This time it's challenge mode. And the way challenge mode works is the same way as time trial for some weird ass fucking reason. So we have Francis here, uh, it's in the map, monohull boat, Barracuda. Our time to beat is 1 minute 3 seconds because there are challenge laps. And there are just set times in each lap. There are only two laps every time. Ready? And it literally is just Ready? time trial two, with Shadow, one, by the way. Go. But the Shadow is now called the Champion. And we have to beat the Champion, who right now is Francis, in every single track all their times. It literally is just time trial mode. But, as you can see, we're versing against a death time. It's an actual time trial thing. Which makes me question, why the fuck time trial was the way it was before? I don't know. I don't know why it was the way it was before, but... Whatever. What we have now is pretty much what I expected. And, you know, it's fine for the most part. However, that's where the whole boat thing comes in. Because you might have noticed that, uh, it just defaults us to Barracuda. There is no difficulty thing at all. Challenge mode stays in Barracuda forever. So we're going full on speed here. And not only that, we can't choose the boat that the dev time has chosen. We have to choose another boat. And they won't choose the Prometheus at all. For some reason. Some boats they won't ever choose, really. But when it comes to the Catamaran boats, they are going to choose the VR Sports boat sometimes. And that's going to be annoying. Because I have to choose Rising Sun in that case, which is the one below it. And that would be an issue. If it wasn't for the fact that almost all the dev times are stupid fucking easy. Look at that, 17 seconds ahead. Every single dev time in this game is a fucking joke. And there you go, it's the same screen. It says Champion instead of Shadow. And we can also save these times because the game tells us to save memory card, which I'm not going to do. And I'm also going to go ahead and show off all the boats and the names like Gavin here with this MDA boat here for every single race. So now we're using the Katamara and stuff. And now, now we're really getting into it, because now we have the fast boats. 56 seconds to beat. And you know, this would be an issue. If it was with the fact we're using the Catamaran boat. Because we are using Catamaran, Ready? unfortunately that does mean Three, this is going to be an absolute two, fucking one, joke go. still. So, yeah, that's challenge mode, really. It's just time trial, but with dev times instead of your own time with fucking solo mode. There's no solo mode here. And the dev times are easy. I'll bring up the names, I'll bring up the boats that they use, and I'll bring up their times. But I don't have much else to say about this because we've seen, you know, all of these tracks already. You've seen all of this. So, you know, there's not much to say. What I will say, however, is I feel like either the devs didn't know how easy they made their times, or they actually struggled with this shit, in a way. Because it really isn't difficult to beat their times. They get very forgiving. Like, you can kind of tell that they are really going through on, like, the straight aheads. When you get into the turns and they start slowing down. And I don't know why they do that. Because it's just really awkward to notice that. And I feel like that really showcases on, honestly, how not challenging this is.
Well, they kind of fucked themselves because of that. So yeah, Katamaran and Monohol are going to be very easy to deal with every track. And, uh, yeah, almost all these times are fucking piss easy. Here's Paul D with the Falcon Boat. We're using that for, um, fucking Antarctic. Norway, I mean. So yeah, the time to beat here is 51 seconds. Pretty simple stuff. And, uh, you might have kind of noticed, by the way, that Ready? outside of the ramps, I Ready? never veer my One. nose, like, I never no. veer my nose down with any of these boats, for any of these races so far. Well, it still is technically like a time trial thing. You know, and I want to be going through the fastest I can with this. So because of that, I'm not veering my nose down at all unless there's a rant coming up. Because the rants will fuck me. I don't want to get flipped during this shit. I don't want to lose time because the game decided to flip me for no good fucking reason on these ramps. Other than that though, actually, you know, getting through this shit is really easy and not a challenge at all, so yeah. And I mean, it's a challenge to me to navigate these turns and such without having more control by veering down. Especially on Katamaran, you'll see that. You'll see me struggling there. But I do manage. And the thing is, I can afford it because all of these times are so easy that it's not a problem to me to do that. I guess the showcase of my skill, I guess. And yes, much like when it comes to, you know, the time trial stuff, the opponent does not have any physical form. You can pass through them, you can drive through them in this entire mode here. So, yeah, it's... They're very much just ghosts. Here's Tony B using the worst boat in Katamaran, the sports boats, so obviously I'm using the VR Sports boat, the best one, to kick their ass. Their time is 47 seconds, which is very close together. And this is why I'm not saying the millisecond thing. This is why I'm going under 47 seconds, under a minute, and all of that. Because Ready? the millisecond thing Three, is kind of inconsistent. Two, one, it's not very like smart to go by that. It's more better to go by the actual second and beat that instead. Which, considering how easy these times are, that's better for me to work on than being a fucking millisecond of their time. I also had to check. There are no speedruns of this game. No attempts at it. Now, I know that me saying that makes you think I'm going to then, you know, speedrun this game and give you a fucking, like, full-on sort of, you know, leaderboard time here with this. I'm not doing that. I don't care enough about this game. I don't have that great of a liking to this game to want to speedrun this. I find this to be boring on the second half of its go. And continuing to play this game will just get super fucking boring to speedrun this, okay? I kind of want to end it here and then move on. However, if I wanted to, you know, really put my thoughts down for this game, I will put them down here on this part, and, uh, because, you know, this is the last part, I have to. But first, next up, we're going over to, uh, you know, Duel of Harvey here, using the Aero Boat. Obviously, I'm using the fucking Prometheus again. Because we are now going to... Yeah, Russia. 
Uh, 56 seconds, 57 seconds technically because it's so close to it, but 56 seconds for us right now. And again, easy as, just not going to be a problem to beat these. Ready? Three, two, one, go! And, uh, yeah, not much else to say here of this. I mean, it's all just easy. I lost my computer froze for a little bit, I'm sorry about that. But yeah, um, my thoughts on this is, in the grand scheme of, like, everything in this game and everything about these Hydro Thunder clones, this is one of the best ones. All the other ones I've played so far have been utter shit, really. Like, they either are very boring or very bullshit from the get-go. And while this one has been kind of bullshit as well, it's had so much to it and so much variety to it that it ultimately makes itself just just okay for the most part. I'm not, this is not a good game. I've said it beforehand, it's not a good game. It's not a bad game either. It's better than their last game with the fucking, the game they made after this one, Aqua GT. And it's better than Rapid Racer. It's better than that fucking, it's better than both of those fucking games. But it is worse than Hydro Thunder still. Because the AI is bullshit and the controls are not fun to play with. However, if I were to tell you which one to play, if I wanted you to play this, I would say play the PC version if you can get it to work. I would play the PS1 version. Anyway, next up, Peter B here actually chooses VR Sports, so I now have to choose Rising Sun when it comes to Russia. So that's fucking crazy. 49 seconds to beat with Rising Sun. I can't use the fucking VR sports boat here. And you'll see that because of that, they have a very easy quick start to beat me with. Because they can go by pretty fast. Like, look at that. I'm phasing through them, by the way. You can see it right there. But, uh, yeah. After that, they start slowing down. Because around the turns, when they get into the turns and corners, they just slow down for no good reason. I don't. I don't slow down for anyone. But yeah. They're using the VR sports boat now. And I have to race against that shit. And... If the times here were actually, you know, a challenge to keep the namesake of the mode, then this would have been a problem. But because the times are so easy, it's really easy for me to handle this. So, yeah, it's just... There's not much to say about that, honestly. I will say our next track is definitely going to be probably the longest and also the toughest because it's fucking Nevada. I love I called it Am like Arizona in the last part, I believe, like by accident. And I know why I did that because I was thinking of Amazon because to me Nevada and Amazon are the hardest. And I had Amazon on the head to say next. But I was then thinking of a US state that starts with A instead of N. Also, N and B here at the Pacer. We're pressing against him next when it comes to Nevada. And his time is 1 minute 14 seconds. Got it. But yeah, like... I legitimately was thinking of Nevada here. But I was also thinking of, of Amazon, and I was thinking 
of a U.S. state, because I was kind of forgetting about Nevada's name. And the first thing that popped into my head was Arizona. That's the closest to Amazon that I can think of of that. And I called it that in the last part. And I'm sorry for fucking that up. I don't even know if Nevada is in Arizona. I'm pretty sure they're different states, different locations, but there you go. Let me fucking check, actually. There's a border between them. So I'm not too far off location-wise, it's just Arizona is right next to Nevada. So I mean, I was close. <laughs> But yeah, like, this should be a tough one, you know? Because it's Nevada. Like, this is a tough fucking track. But the times are so forgiving that I end up with, like, a, like fucking 20 seconds ahead of him in the end. I beat his fucking times by about 10 seconds each. The dev time here just sucks. They are worse than the AI. It makes me question if they've ever actually been their game before. Because I feel like a good way of knowing if you've, you know, made a good game or not, is if you can fairly beat it. Like, challenge is one thing. Making it really hard is one thing. Like, Doom Plutonia Experiment. Like, that was a fucking DLC thing that was made to be super fucking hard, but still beatable. Also, there's Francis with the BR boat. Briar Racer, I think it was. Which, by the way, that icon, that BR thing, has been on the top right screen of the game the entire time. One minute, eight seconds, by the way. It has not fucking left. It's always been there. But I have never raced in the BR boat before. Ready? And it's really weird Three, how two, that's there in the top one, right. Go. And it's not changing the icon for the other boats. So the entire time, like, the BR has just been there. I mean, it's a cool icon. I'm not gonna lie, it's a neat little simplistic icon. It's just... It's weird how that's always been there, and it's never changed. It's just, that's on the top right screen. It's there forever. Deal with it. It serves no purpose to be there, but it's there. By the way, you saw it in the Russia one, and you're gonna see it in the Amazon one too, when it comes to the Katamaran boats here. That the dev time just really boosts ahead, like they get some stupid fast speed. And it's making me wonder, is it actually possible to hit the red on that fucking meter there, that speedometer, on the bottom right there? Is it possible to go to the red area? Because I've been trying to figure out if it even is possible, and I've never found it to be possible at all. I don't have a manual on me. If anyone has the manual for this game, please let me know if it's even possible to get into the red zone. I would like to know if it's even possible, because I want to know if you can even go faster than this. Because so far... I don't think you can. And it's weirding me out that even the fucking 
dev times are fucking, you know, it's just weird. It's just really weird to me. Anyway, I've been there times again. Look at that, 18 seconds. Fucking chump times. Next up, Gavin with the Bulldog here, the British Bulldog, as we go straight into, well, England. I mean, it's fitting. It's an English boat. One minute, 14 seconds. Very much almost the exact same lap times there. Just six milliseconds difference. That's very close. That's the closest they ever have, by the way. Ready? But even Five, then, two, it one, is such go. a shit time that when it comes to England, they put in the easiest fucking time for England. Like, I'm going to just bitch slap the fucking dev time here. And I play sloppy on this one, too. I kind of do it deliberately sometimes. And I just... I beat their fucking time by over 20 seconds still. I made these dev times here with England my utter bitch. I embarrassed the fuck out of them. And yeah, it just makes me question so hard on how the fuck they were even able to beat their own game. Because, again, the Plutonia thing, that game, they played it over and over and over again until it was so hard they couldn't beat it. But I bet you anything, the developers still beat it anyway. I bet you anything, they were able to still beat it. And the thing is, like, I'm wondering if they even cared enough to even play their fucking modes much. Because these times are just embarrassing. Especially as the AI makes way better times than anything these guys have made. And they've ever banned the fuck out of me. Like, the AI rubber bands, the absolute shit out of me. So why are these set times with the developers actually being a problem? By the way, these are dev times. Because all of these names that you're seeing right now, these names are on the credits. So these are devs. And there you go. Could have been a minute if I didn't fuck about, but hey. There you go. Next up, Katamaran. Lisa L is using this boat, the X boat, whatever, the KX boat. I'm using the fucking VR sports like usual. The time to beat here. One minute, six seconds. You're probably noticing the fact I've already been these with the monohull boat. Yeah. These times are too Ready. forgiving. These times are too easy. If I can beat your catamaran boat times with a monohull boat, your times are fucking trash. So yeah, fucking embarrassing. I don't have much else to say now. I mean, I guess I'll date the video in a way, but in about two or three days, I will be uh, essentially participating with Friday Gamers again. Friday Gamers is back, by the way. The charity event I've been shipping for a few times, they're back. And we're gonna be, I need to fucking remember like who we're supporting again. We are supporting the Silence of Suicide initiatives, the SOS initiatives, uh, with that one. And for me, from November 21st to November 25th, I'm going to essentially be playing Steam games. Be playing through some bad ones, be playing through some good ones. So, you know, 
I hope for you to join me on that one. I'll put it in the comments below on when I'll be, like, you know, doing that. Actually, it should be happening right now. It should have already passed, in fact. Fuck. I probably should have said it in the previous video, then. Because, <laughs> um, yeah. But in case, you know, you did miss it, you probably already did, uh, I'll put it in the comments anyway of the last video, so, you know, you'll know that I mentioned it here, at least. <laughs> Uh, but first of all, Matt B using the beam boat, I guess, the bean boat. We're going in for, I believe, Amazon now, which, uh, yeah, one minute, seven seconds. Fucking easy, considering. But yeah, uh, in case you do miss it, don't worry, the stream hard to be made for them. You'll be able to get them. You know, I played some bad games, I'm playing some good games. You know, you'll be able to get all the bad games from order. And I sure picked some fucking bad games. <laughs> oh boy, did I pick some stinkers. However, one thing I can tell you right now is you might have noticed, I believe I said beforehand I would do 1 plus 2 eventually. And, uh... You're probably thinking, after the Game Boy Color stuff was done, I was going to do 1 plus 2 immediately afterwards. I was going to do that. You're noticing I didn't do that. And here's why. Because... I legitimately don't want to do it until the updates for 1 plus 2 are done. Because not only are they putting in new challenges, they put in a new fucking mode for the game. It's pretty obvious to me that I cannot do 1 plus 2 until the updates are done. So that, you know, all the new shit they add in is done and I can, you know, fucking deal with this shit afterwards. And I don't mean daily challenges. I mean the fact that they've added in new challenges that are staying there that I have to do. And some of these challenges I might end up having already done and the game just automatically completes them for me anyway and I might get confused on what I have and haven't done yet. So I'd rather have the full list in my fucking hand from the get-go instead of having to like do the game, get all the shit done, do all the challenges and gaps and such, and then find out three months later or so, like a month or two later, that, oh, there is now 30 more new challenges, and I've apparently completed about half of them. That's pretty fucking bad, don't you think? So yeah, I'd rather just wait it out. Oh, wait. Vicky H here is using the car hole boat here, so, you know, that's neat. And the time's here. One minute, one second. Got it. But, yeah, um... What I did end up doing, however, is I have replaced the Ready? spot that 1 plus 2 is going to have Three, with CTR two, Nitro one. Fields. All the updates for that game are done, really, other than bug fixes and, you know, putting it into PS5, I'm guessing. But all of the updates for CTR Nitro Field are done. No more shit is getting added in. So I am 100% happy to go through and actually complete the game now, 100% for the most part, with that shit. Now, of course, this does mean that I am going to have to go through and, you know, do the whole online thing every day and so of that game in order to get the points to buy everything. Or, you know, I can just, you know, give them a hundred bucks and, you know, just have the currency needed to buy everything anyway. And you won't really realize it. Because microtransactions are bullshit. And the amount of stuff you get out of doing online and such, not really a lot of fun to do. 
It's not really great. But hey, I will go through 100% Nitro Field anyway for you guys, and I will go through and get everything except special promotion stuff, like the Xfinity thing. All that shit is impossible for me to get. I'm never getting it. I never want it. Especially since it's American only, and I'm in Australia. Okay? I can't get Xfinity. I can't get that promotional. So, you know, I can't fucking do it. I can do my best to get everything else, though, but, yeah. And now, now it's time for us to move on to Japan. Versing DC, Dean C and the Firefly here, which is right below my Prometheus. That's the highest I ever go of these boats. And it's 1 minute 6, but the best lap is the first lap, not the second. So that's weird. They got worse on the second lap. Even though these times are easy to beat. Ready? That's kind of concerning Five, to me on these two, times. One, go. Well. The main thing here is that I'm going to beat their fucking times. I'm going to beat this game. And that's going to be it. I'll shut the leaderboard, shut the credits. And by the way, the leaderboards. It is actually impossible to beat all the times in the leaderboards. And there's a reason why I'm saying that. I will show you soon. But just know it is actually impossible to beat all the times. It is impossible to beat the leaderboard. Anyway, for the most part, I mean, you can see that I'm kicking some ass. I'm making mistakes here and there, but I'm kicking ass. And for the most part, this is just kind of the entire game here. By the way, another thing I can bring up is what's to come next year, which I've already said before, but I'm going to bring it up again. The Bubsy Reanimation Club Collab. Reanimated Club Collab. The, uh, the Reanimation Bubsy Pilot. I'm looking forward to giving you guys that on Thanksgiving, on Twitch, on 2021. Because... That's kind of where I want to start, like, branching myself out there in a way. Oh, so I did the exact same time on both. That's amazing. Both laps the exact same time. Anyway, VR Sports is yet again chosen by Jeff B, so I'm using Rising Sun again. I gotta use this again. The time here of this one, 59 seconds. Or one minute. 59 seconds will do. So, yeah, the Bubsy reanimation thing. It's going on Twitch first, and then it's going to be up on YouTube, here on this Ready. channel, unmonetized, I'm not making any money off it, and on Newgrounds. Like, the day after the stream. And it will not be saved on the stream either, like, it'll be, the VOD will be gone after it's streamed. It's a one-time thing of the stream. So if you miss it, if you miss the stream, I'll be announcing it when it happens. But if you miss it, then that's your fault. Last thing I want to say is that, you know, for Hydro Thunder Clone, there was a lot to this game. I honestly believe that it's not a bad game. 
and it's one of the better Hydro Thunder clones out there. Now, there are some games out there that I feel like will beat this. One of them is a game called Riptide GP or whatever. And Riptide GP is considered the spiritual successor to Hydro Thunder, not really a clone. And I've never played it before. In fact, I've never really explored these sorts of games much on this channel or the last channel, my old one. I've more so been exploring Tony Hawk games than I have been Hydro Thunderish games. But who knows? I might go through Riptide GP uh, eventually. But right now, it's just not really going to happen much. I don't know. I guess I find like Tony Hawk games more fun than these sort of games in a way. I get more out of it. All right, I beat them once again. Next up, we have Brian here with the pacer. I believe the names stick of the boats they choose. I don't think they ever change names for these boats. Anyway. Brian here got 1 minute 8 seconds on both, so I'm going to beat both. It's Australia, and I'm still upset that Australia happens to be essentially the worst of the tracks, you know, to me. The most bland, no shortcuts or anything. I'm still upset about that. Australia is not fucking boring, come on. There is shit to it. But whatever. But yeah, um, I do want to branch out from more than just, you know, video game stuff, doing Let's Plays and all. So, you know, going into art, to animation, that's something I want to do. So I hope that you can, you know, look forward to that. I hope you can enjoy my own creations instead of me playing through other people's creations. And, uh, yeah, I hope you look forward to the stuff that I'm going to bring out soon. If you haven't seen my art yet, like, you didn't see it in the fucking Fatal Frame 4 Let's Play on that one part, or if you haven't seen any of the art I've drawn and posted on Twitter and on DeviantArt, I'll put the links in the comment section as well. Because, you know, I, I want people to know that I am doing more than just this. And I want to know if you guys would be happy to see more of it. I would be happy to even, you know, draw the thumbnails instead of making these usual sort of thumbnails, you know? But... I want to put the uh, be attention over to the games, not so much the fucking me aspect, so you know. Anyway, that was it for Australia for the monohull boat. And as you can see, I beat in under a minute, so... Again, I'm kind of showing off my skill at this point, how well I've done this game. Anyway, here's Sarah, she's also using the KX again, so... Great. VR Sports, here are her times. One minute, two. All right, well, I've beaten them already. <laughs> Why the fuck? Ready? Three, two, one. These should have go. been the times for Monohull. These should not have been the times for this fucking boat. This is not a challenge, okay? These times do not live up to the namesake of challenge mode, okay? I'm a bit disappointed about that. And I'm also weirded out that time trial is the way it is because 
for some reason this isn't time trial. For some reason, challenge is time trial against the dev time, whereas time trial is time trial against yourself. It's just... It's weird. I can't even call it a practice thing, because practice exists at the bottom. So it's just... It's weird. But yeah, I have nothing much else to say about this game now. Uh, because I've said all I can say throughout this entire Let's Play. What I will say, though, is that because I am going through all of these with both boats and being all these times, they are different every time, choosing different boats and everything. This is probably the longest part in the Let's Play. Probably. Championship might have been worse. Championship stuff might have been longer. But this is pretty long. It it reaches nearly one hour. So, yeah. Pretty fucking long shit. Anyway. That happens to be it for that one. Next up is Monaco. And Monaco is a fucking joke. Martin here is using the laser uh, buoy. Which is the worst boat when it comes to monohull. And it's also going to use the fucking worst boat when it comes to catamarans, so yeah. 32 seconds here. It's weird that they're using the worst boats on the easiest and shortest track of the game. Ready? Three, two, one, go! And... At this point, with both boats, I can beat this track in under a minute. So yeah, it's just, it's disappointing to me what they've done with this, like what they've done with this mode really. They could have done so much more, but they didn't, and it's just lame. But hey. Both of these are less than a minute long. After this is the mines. And once the mines is done, then we are done with the game. I will show the high scores. I will show the, um, the leaderboard shit. And then after that, credits. And by the way, all of these lap times are not in the leaderboard. They are their own thing here. Next up, Obviously, the worst boat is getting chosen here by Jane R. of the sports boat. Yeah, Buren uh, Cura, or whatever the fuck that was. That's the fucking icon at the top right. Anyway, sports VR again. And 28 minutes. I've already beaten those times. That's fucking embarrassing. Ready? Three. I am running goddamn circles around these dot these dev times. Like I know I've, you know, played this enough to get good at it. But even if I wasn't good at it, these dev times are too forgiving. They're too easy. I'm disappointed by this mode. This could have been so much more, and it's just... It's just too easy. So yeah. The hardest modes, the first two, Arcade and Championship, and they're the ones that mattered. They're the ones that give you anything. The rest of this is optional. And the fucking mode called Challenge is probably the easiest mode in the game. And also, I got the number of the beasts right there. Great. Thanks. Next. 
Dire mid using the Falcon here. We'll be versing him in the mines. One minute, eight seconds. Very close, very, very close to one minute, nine. But it's one minute, eight. And yeah, this is the last one. Ready? Three, two, one, go! So, uh... Yeah. That's... That's VR Sports Power Racing. I will say, on the latter half of this, it got boring. It kept itself interesting for the most part. But... It really did suck and repetitive and boring at the near end of it all. But hey, I mean... At the very least, this is better than Rapid Racer. This is better than their last game after this one, Aqua GT. This is better than those fucking shitty games, okay? At the very least, I enjoyed this one much more than those other two. And while I'm not a huge fan of this game, I would say give this game a chance and, you know, make your own opinion on it. You might like it. You might hate it. You know? All comes down to you. But to me, I don't mind it. I think it's an okay game. I'd still recommend the PC version because, you know, the camera isn't like this and also the graphics are much better. It's just, you should get it working first. That's the problem. If you can get it working with no issues, play PC version. If it gives you problems, just get an emulator and play PS1. And I mean get an emulator. Don't look for a fucking physical copy. The devs for this game are dead. The publishers for this game are dead. No one's getting money from this game at all. It's just... It's in limbo at this point. It's been in limbo for years. You're better off just playing on an emulator or so. And, uh, yeah. One more race to go. David K is using the KX thing, whatever. I'm using VR Sports for the last time. And our last times to beat is one minute and four seconds. All I have to do is beat this race, and I will have 100% completed this game, at least to me. Ready? Because I have gotten all the unlockables. I've seen all the cheats, and I've also essentially, you know, been arcade and championship with both types of boats. And I've also been every single time in challenge. At that point, I'm done. And while not recorded, I have gone through and I've done the other modes as well. I've gone through all the other modes for all the other tracks, and I've done them as well. I've even done the slalom shit. I've done that crap of all the tracks. You know, I've done everything. At this point, all that I haven't done is multiplayer, and I can't, and I don't really want to. And, you know, just beating all the times, and I can't beat all the times in the leaderboard. As I've said beforehand, it is impossible to do that. I cannot do that at all. And you'll see why very soon. But yeah, it's just... This is it. So what will I do after this Let's Play is done? Honestly? I'm gonna do another sports game. But I'm going to choose one that isn't boats, skateboarding, or any of that sort. I'm gonna choose a game that much like, you know, playing around with a fucking unicycle, 
it's a type of game that is very rarely touched upon in the video game world. 25 seconds, Jesus Christ. I nearly had a perfect run on that one. That lap was nearly perfect. I was amazed by that. So yeah, there you go. And with that, that is champion mode. That is champion, that's challenge mode I mean. And that is the entirety of VR Sports Power Boat Racing. So I'm gonna go ahead and check out the statistics, because all of these modes are done. I'm not doing practice, practice just doing, you know, training. It's just going through the map and practicing the fucking shit. There's head to head, which, you know, same thing as usual. There's championship slalom and, uh, fucking, uh, shootout. So those modes are there as well. Head to head is one on one against you and your friend. And yeah, here's all the options, which I've already gone through. And the statistics, which lap records show, and also passwords. That's the passwords, that's all of them. Really. So yeah, I got everything unlocked. Lap records. As you can see, I've gotten a few of the times done. But as you'll see, I cannot beat all the times. I cannot complete this entire results screen here because of mines. Mines is not an arcade. It is impossible to beat all the times because arcade will not let you play mines. So yeah, that's a bit of a huge oversight there. But hey, doesn't matter. I've done everything. And now all I have to do is wait for demo mode. And why wait for demo mode? Because demo mode is the credits. So yeah, that's it. That is VR Sports Power Boat Racing. And uh, I hope you enjoy it somewhat. So the question remains on what I'm doing next time. Well, the sport that's not touched upon is parkour. I mean, you can somewhat see parkour in some, you know, free roaming games like GTA and such, but, and by the way, I turn off the sound and such to give you the music, because the music here is nice, demo, demo music. But, uh, yeah, ultimately, I just don't really see much of the parkour stuff going on in video games. And the game I have just so happens to be one that's all about parkour for the PS2. I'm going to go through and play that game next time. But uh, yeah, that is it for VR Sports Power Boat Racing. Here, ladies and gentlemen, are the credits as they'll be appearing right about now, I think. Nope, a bit too early. It should be appearing soon. But yeah, look for the names. You'll see that a lot of the names there are from... Yeah, there you go. Some of the names there are the names we saw in Challenge. And maybe in Normal Race, too. So yeah. Not a bad game, not a good game either, it's kind of just an okay game. I had an enjoyable time playing through anyway, so thank you Promethean Designs for making this. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time for, I believe it's called Free Running. See you then.